हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ द सेकेंड वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ एल टी स्पाइस सिमुलेशन सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सिमुलेट दिस सर्किट ओके सर्किट यू कैन सी दिस इज एन एन मॉस एम्पलीफायर विथ पी मॉस एक्टिव लोड इन शॉर्ट इट इज एन सी मॉस एम्पलीफायर वाई बिकॉज यू हैव बोथ एन मॉस एंड पी मॉस सो बोथ आर complementary in nature that's why cmos complementary mos amplifier okay and uh, we'll directly go into the simulation okay without uh, wasting much time and then i'll uh, while simulating we'll explain what is the rule of m1 and m2 and m3 okay so we'll directly go into simulation uh so you know this is the window how you open it you go into uh start and then you go into l to spice and then you click it and this kind of window will open up you'll go in file and new schematic okay and then using component library you select voltage sources and current sources and all the component so you'll require two voltage sources and then you need a current source to so you type current in the window and you can able to from left click you will select it and then from uh left click you place it and to escape this function you press right click you know this okay and then for selecting mosfets so first i'll select m1 so please refer the circuit diagram okay the circuit diagram you can find in the uh google classroom so this is the mosfet m1 okay now you need two more mosfet but they are p type mosfet so i'll select p mos so p mos 4 i'm going to select okay this is p mos okay but how should i connect it okay so the source the source so i'll just place it and i'll skip so this one is source and this one is gate so actually the source should be connected to vdd for pmos pmos source is should be connected to vdd whereas nmos source is connected to ground so i have to rotate it up okay i have to rotate it so i can rotate it by selecting move button and then i can rotate it so you can see okay ah uh, and then after selecting this i can have a mirror function after rotating i will have a mirror function and then i can place it here same way i can go in component library i can select one more pmos again so you can see i should connect gate of m3 and m2 back to back m3 gate and m2 back to back so i need to rotate it up okay so that this can be connected easily otherwise i have to rotate uh, route the wire from here to here okay that is not uh, good for the circuit confusion for the circuit connection sorry this will avoid all the confusion so i have to rotate it up so i'll I have to select it and then i'll go up and i will rotate it rotated now get r at the same level i can connect them okay so everything is messed up okay to fit everything into the screen i'll just press space button everything is fit and then i can zoom out so that i can fix i can connect some more component so i'll select this reference current source because this has to be connected here okay and then now everything is in the place now i should have some ground connection so i need for nmos source and then i also need for bulk so i place it right click i'll remove it okay then i'll need some more i need here i need here okay where else that's it 
then I need wires okay the wires for connection so gate and gate are connected okay and then source and source are connected together they are going where together they are going in the battery terminal positive terminal okay so this connected then this has to be connected okay then this point should be connected to gate of your pmos okay and then your bulk should also be connected to vdd isn't it bulk so bulk of nmos is connected to ground but bulk of pmos is connected to vdd all the connection i have made the final connection so you can see all the connection i have made okay so so the entire lt spice simulation you can divide into two part okay three part sorry into three part what i have done is uh, i have created a schematic okay so your first step is you create schematic and then after that after creating schematic you have to set names and values component okay for both the steps okay you need what you need circuit diagram okay and then when you set names and values of component and then uh, in the second step you also do uh, you also insert model file okay and after that third step is you apply suitable analysis so first step you have done with the first step we have created schematic now we will go for the next step setting names and values of component and inserting dot model file so how would i do it okay so i know the name of this battery according to circuit diagram it is vdd and the value is 5 so even if you don't put the proper name okay then also it is fine for components why because uh, the names do not affect your circuit operations okay but this uh, values does okay so the value is 50 micro and then if you right click here it is i reference you can change it i1 to i reference so whenever you select any any component so the first one is 1 m1 like if you select voltage it will be v1 if you if you select current source it would be i1 if you go for another current source that would be i2 okay so i have set it okay then i will set the component uh, length and width of transistor the most important thing so you have set it so for all the transistor i'll fix it 10u to 50u okay 10u to 50u sorry you have to the windows are different there are many windows okay you should choose the right window okay so set it but this is not final because again again this is also remaining the dc value you can right now you can specify any value 0 1 2 3 4 not a problem because anyhow we are going to do the sweep analysis so this value is going to is this value is not going to be single value okay this value is going to be sweep value sweep means this is going to change from 0 to 5 in steps of 0.1 so that's why whatever initial value you do that would be overwritten so right now we have given one value one one voltage so i have set everything but uh, can you recollect what else we are we have to set up we have to set up what we have to set up we have to insert dot model file so we have to insert dot model file that would set a couple of parameters you know which parameter how can you recall it so if you refer the circuit diagram so first i am setting the parameter for nmos okay so so single nmos the this nmos is first nmos its name second its type next thing is its value kp mu n su x which is kp and another value is its threshold voltage okay 0.7 i'll also set one more parameter that have not set yet okay that have not 
so there is one more value okay for mosfet that is called as lambda okay so i'm going to set this lambda lambda is 0.01 okay so i have set it so now i have set these values same way for pmos so again pmos i have to write two more model file but i'll uh, write only one model file because both the transistor are same so i have to i will write one more so what i can do i can go in edit and i can write spice directive or i can just directly uh, yes that i'll do okay i have a option of uh, in uh, windows i have a option of uh, clicking this and putting a control m and starting from new model file but this uh, option is not available with window okay i cannot do like that okay i cannot write in the same uh, window so that's why what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one more spice directive okay so th this option is available in uh, windows ld spice but not in ubuntu ld spice okay that's why i'm writing the ubuntu way okay the reason is uh, when you go for ubuntu machines then you'll face a problem that's why i'm doing like that okay so video is minus minus point 0.7 lambda i can specify as 0.01 okay so this is one more uh one more parameter i'm inserting okay so that is again so i have set it now i have placed it okay now i think everything is set up everything is just set up what i'll do is now i'll go for the simulation directly so i'll simulate and i'll go for edit simulation command so what i what i want to do in this in this experiment so if you go for circuit diagram then you will realize it okay what actually we have to do it see you can see the circuit diagram we have to do large signal analysis what you mean by that actually we are changing this input we are providing dc sweep we are providing 0 to 5 voltage and we are checking the output okay so what we are going is what we, what we are going to see is change in v in and we are going to observe vo so this is best observed in this graph okay so we are going to observe vo versus v in so we are changing we are giving the dc sweep to one input and observing other output against it okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to select one of the inputs one of the command so dc sweep i am going to do first source is what is the first source v in you have to select the name so name is v in so uh, v in type of sweep it's a linear sweep start value is 0 stop value is 5 and increment value is 0.1 so in steps of that there would be 51 v in values okay right from 0 to 5 0 0.1 point 0.2 till 5 so there will be 15 value so that is my v in okay and now i am going to straight away do simulation so when i simulate and run i will be getting this okay this window okay and then if i bring my cursor near to this i can see a red probe this red probe is nothing but your voltage probe okay you can observe one more probe what is this this probe is current current probe okay as you go near to drain okay or near to battery you can find this probe okay but in between in the wire at the node that would turn your cursor will turn into red okay so when you click you will get this graph okay so this graph so this is the final output of your uh, lab okay so this is known as large signal analysis so what we have done is actually dc point of view we have changed the input for different uh, gate voltage we have observed the drain voltage that is it 
okay so in the next video we'll see in the detail okay so uh, in the next video we'll talk much deeper uh, much deeper things okay for then uh, you can wait for my second video thank you for patience listening and seeing the video thank you